Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. In today's SQL Accounting System tutorial, I'll discuss about a very special module called Matrix Module. Normally, this Matrix Module will use by those people who are selling an item with different sizes and also color. For example, you are selling shirt or you're selling shoes. You have a one product ID, a prefix ID, then it combined with a color and also size. So normally what we do is we will create different different item code for different sizes plus the colors. So let's say you have five color with five different sizes, then you will have 25 code and you need to do that manually. Plus during transactions for you to select different sizes and colors for one item code, you'll be very uh, confusing and very easy that a user will make mistake. So that's why in SQL we have a special module called matrix. If you have purchased the matrix module, then you just go to stock and you can see there is a function called maintain stock item matrix profile. Let's create a new profile called shirt. Okay. Then let's set a prefix. One and two five. Okay, so prefix meaning is the item code, the first section. Why I put one and two five is because for every item I want it to start with shirt dash something. So shirt dot one two three four five five character. So I put one and two five. Then in dimension, let's put color. Uh, maybe white okay that's the code how about black blck and then maybe blue but because blue only got four character so in row i want to set as seven until eleven that means there is five character and blue because have only four i need to do a space bar and red space space because five character so blue this is red and then maybe you ask brand why i skip the number six is because i need to reserve the number six as the dash so same go to the column dimensions. I need to skip 12 and put 13, maybe 13. And I have three different sizes. Large. M stand for medium. And there will be a S size stand for small. Okay, so number 13 will have LMS. So now I have one prefix with five different color or four different color and three different size so the total combination should be four multiplied by three then it should be 12 different item code so how to do you save this matrix first then you go to stock maintain stock item normally we go to new and create the item right but this time you don't do that but at this listing screen just go to the right hand side right click any empty space and you can see there will be one function called generate stock item so what you want to do select the matrix profile just now we created it shirt so the prefix let's put as shirt and of course you must have a item group if you do not understand what is item group, please refer to my item group tutorial. Basically, this to set the account code for all this item. You can put in the reference cost if you want or reference price as you want. Let's put a reference price, let's say 100 for everyone. Then, what you need to do is click on OK. Then, see what the system will do. The system will actually generate all the item automatically and you can see this is all the item 
that's not a shirt generated. Okay, now how it helps? Basically, it go to when you go to sales invoice example. When you go to new, so you select the customer, then you need to select the item, right? So let's select the item. Just select one of the items first. Then what you can see is at the right hand side here, there's a small tab, a new tab called matrix. Click on here. Now, it will be easier for you to key in the quantity for different sizes plus the color. This is row and columns. Okay, so let's see. The customer actually need five medium white t-shirt or shirt, one black, two small blue color, and one red medium. So see what happened. At the general screen, it automatically help you to select the item and do it accordingly to the quantity that you put in under here. So basically, this is how you make use of the matrix module. Now, as you can see in the matrix module, you only can have three segments. You cannot have more than three segments. So let's say you are interested in SQL accounting system or just to add this module or sign maintenance, you are welcome to contact me directly. Once again, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.